Coming up on iPads in the Classroom, we're looking at some new space apps. Hi, my name is Guy Trainin and this is iPads in the Classroom from TechEdge and today I want to share some new and renewed space apps that would help you teach kids about space and about the solar system. So let's start. The first app I want to talk about is SolarWalk. SolarWalk is a great app that keeps getting better as time goes on. Right now we're looking at Earth. And you can actually see that when you look at Earth, for example, in uh, this app, you can also see they're orbiting a spacecraft in this case. And you can get specific information about them if you just click the information button. It's a great way to teach kids about navigating apps and what does the I button really mean. In this case, it's the information button that allows you to have some general information about this body in space, some photos from outside the craft in space and you can see that there are lots of opportunity here to see it in different ways. You can scroll through all the possibilities. You just press the X and you're back out and if you zoom out with your fingers just like we do in other ways you can start seeing the larger environment. In this case you can see the Earth and the Moon around it, but if I zoom out a little bit further I can see other planets and I can zoom in on Uranus for, uh, for example here and if I click on it again I can get new information seeing what's available to know about this planet, what, what are the numbers, so size, mass, uh, gravity, all of these things, and then my favorite piece is internal structure, looking into the planet and what's there, and having a discussion about what the different layers actually consist of. You can see that there are lots of photos that allow you to have different views of the planet from different missions, and really a detailed look at the planet. Again, we can zoom out and see the satellites, of Uranus and then the way it looks in the night sky and you can see that the view is always related to a specific date and time so you can actually explore it this way. Now you can also explore it using the navigation buttons on the right so that's another way you can do a search and go to a specific place you want to go. Here you can do an investigation of comets. Let's go to the famous Halley's Comet and this is what it looks like as it flies through space. And this show also shows the path it takes and if you can zoom out you can see how it goes outside, almost completely outside the solar system and then back in and how it relates to the rest of the size of the solar system. So this is a great way to explore the solar system and everything around it and really help situate and navigate, help kids explore, get a lot of information but also be able to experience it visually through photos and through the navigation on the screen. So this is SolarWalk. The next one I want to talk about is the NASA app. NASA has had multiple apps over the years and it still has quite an offering, but I think that the NASA app concentrates in it a lot of apps, a lot of other things that can be used and I'd always rather use one app if I don't have to use five. So in this case NASA really did a nice job of compiling a lot of information. Here's one example, there are images and there are tens of thousands of images that can be shared through it, not all of them downloaded at once. And the great thing about that is if you're working as a teacher or even if your kids are working together and they're trying to identify photos, they can like them and therefore save them in their, uh, in their favorites. So that's one way to collect them. You can also do a search for a specific phenomena or specific body in the sky. Let's say we're interested in, oh, 
let's say we're interested in Pluto. So a search like this would give you multiple views that have to do with Pluto. So for example, this view of Pluto and the newly discovered moon of Pluto, P5, that shows up somewhere here. So that's a way to keep exploring and look for specific items. This is probably a better one. Here it is, P5. Uh, it's a great way to keep exploring space or if you have something specific you're looking at, you can search and find it. For example, I love the featured section. We just talked about the solar system through SolarWalk, which is a great app. But there's on this app, on the NASA app, there's a lot about our solar system. And you can see that there are lots of ways to explore it. It starts with the 10 things you need to know about the solar system. There's then read more and a lot of things about uh, our planet and uh, dwarf planets as well. Lots of ways to explore the information. So that was just our the basic information, but you can see that you can explore it in many different ways. You can go to moon and moons and rings, comets, volcanism, um, ice, gravity, etc. So there's lots of way to look at it not just planet by planet, but by topic and other ways. So that's another aspect of the NASA app. NASA also has the NASA television channel. And here, through this, you can look at old shows and at new shows that show up. So this is another way to look at what's happening. And one of my favorite is the missions section that looks at different missions that NASA had in the past and has in the present. And as a result, you can learn historically about the old uh, missions or you can learn at what NASA is doing right now. So you can excite about the possibilities going into the future or provide that historical uh, view of the moon missions, the Mars missions, and uh, just the orbiting missions fairly early on. So this is the NASA app and it's a great app to learn about space. The next app I want to talk about is part of a group of apps. I'll look at Skyview, but there's Nightview and a few others. They're all fantastic. Most of them have a free version. All of them are interactive in the way they, they work. And that is, they actually provide you with the ability to look up into the sky and see and identify any stars you're seeing. You can learn what they are. Where, what system they are, or in this case, what constellation they are. Now, this line is our horizon line, so this is actually below our horizon. The stars above it are above our, our horizon. And since my iPad is stationary, you can't see it in action in that way. But you can see that if I click on a star, I immediately get an identification. This is a Tau, uh, and it is a star in the Taurus constellation. And you can explore all of those stars a little bit further. You can also take a picture of the stars as you see them in that moment and then share them with others through your iPad. So this is a way to use the, what's going on outside. This one is sky view, but there's also star walk and night sky. All of them do the same thing choose something that works for you and share it with your students so they can do it on their own or with you. So we talked today about a few apps that would help you teach about space, but more than that, get kids excited about space, about our solar system and about the stars. And I'll see you next time on iPads in the Classroom. <laughs>